Welcome to Visual Basic Programming and in this particular video tutorial I'm going to show you how to connect it to my SQL L database uh, from Visual Basic uh, Code and we are going to be using uh, Visual Basic 2022. This is as a request of uh, one of my uh, one of my YouTube followers called OM Yele who told me that he needs an help in there to produce uh, for vp.net. So in response to that, that is why I'm preparing this. And so it is not a beginner's uh, tutorial. You must have some basic concepts on um, visual basic so the let's get started the first thing you need to start up your visual studio 2022 for me i'm using uh, visual studio 2022 there are those of you who might be having older versions of visual studio you i probably want to believe that you know how to go about that and in uh, older versions it is a bit simpler so for this one you after it has started go to create new project uh, we wait we are waiting for the templates to load once they are done or from the drop down uh, uh, list select visual basic we are going to demonstrate this on how to connect using Windows Form application. So select this, click next. Here, I would want you to give your project, uh, uh, your project uh, a name. So mine, I'm going to give it uh, my SQL DP connection and this is 2022 to signify the studio that i'm using it is 2022 once i'm done just i want to lay emphasis you can click on the ellipsis here to navigate to where you usually store your visual studio project but mine i'm going to leave it under this default but make sure that you know that particular location because it is going to be very crucial as we advance to the connection phase therefore you click next you the next page here we are prompted to select the dotnet framework that we are targeting so I'm targeting currently the .NET 6.0, so just click Create Project. Let us wait for it to create the project so that we can progress. So what you are seeing here, it is that uh, the IntelliSense uh, window is just uh, loading and preparing our working space. So we need to be patient. And this is one thing <laughs> which is funny for from Microsoft that it is uh, the, it is uh, just an FA studio when it uh, loads, it takes its time. So you have to be patient for that. So once the loading is done, uh, we want to change uh, the form name. Yeah, let me give it an adding of uh, in my SQL uh, database database connection. So that is the title of our form, and as you can see, it has uh, changed. And then maybe I click the ellipsis to change the font. I want to use. Uh, I'm a fan of Times uh, Roman, so and I'm going. It is going to be bold uh, font size 14 for visibility purposes that is uh, done then the other thing that i want to change per se i don't want to change the form name i will leave it as a uh, default the way it is so i will go to the toolbox under the tool all windows forms just uh, select uh, click on the button and hold down on it to drag it to the form so once you have that in place you will want to change the name to btn uh, test 
just press enter then you want to, the next thing that we are going to change it is the label on tag on that particular text to my sql test in a cups and then we change the font this is times roman it is bold everything there is bold just uh, just uh, expand the pattern to accommodate that once we are done with that uh, the next thing i want to ensure that is connected ensure that your network is uh, is connected because we will need to download uh, some uh, packages so let me connect mine i'm uh, using that let it connect once that is done go to the tools menu after that go to the new get package manager uh get, go to manage new get uh, packages for solution just click on that a window will open and as you can see under the installed tab we are being told there are no packages found so you go to browse Under browse, we want to search my SQL and the one we the class that we need to install it is this one called the called the called the my SQL dot data. So sometimes there are times uh, you, when you click on this class and come to you select the solution on this particular pane it allows you it brings up uh, a pattern for installation but for this case it is not bringing it so the alternative way i want you to navigate to this particular url uh, which is uh, this particular url and all the links i will leave them in the description below of this particular video tutorial we we'll navigate to the tab report.net cli and use this particular pattern here to copy this line once you've copied the line navigate to where you've stored your project mine this in the documents visual basic folder and open that then double click that on the file explorer window on the url just type cmd and press enter on your keyboard what that does it opens a command prompt just right click um, on this particular command prompt to paste in that particular line of code that you've uh, uh, copied from this website just press enter and let's wait for the installation to be complete As you can see, the co depending on your internet connection, mine has finished, so I can comfortably close the command prompt and proceed to my project. Now, if you go and uh, click on the installed packages, you will see that my SQL data class has been installed, and as you can see now the status here change from an install, uh, in installed to installed. So once that is done, close this particular window. Let's progress with uh, our testing. So the second thing, just uh, double click at that particular pattern to get to the uh, where you can place, you can start coding. Once that is done, I've pretty much uh, written uh, the code for testing because here we are going purely to test whether we can we are able to make that connection. So I'm going to be copying and pasting majority of the code. So the first line on top of that class that you are going to you copy this class and this code i will leave it also in the in the description of this particular video tutorial to enable you practice so just copy that particular line and paste it on top of this particular uh, uh, 
uh, class before anything else. So within this class, we need to make some uh, variables. So the way we declare variables in Visual Basic, you use the word dim, which stands for dimensions. So we are making, uh, we are declaring this uh, first variable called con as uh, my SQL connection. It holds the connection to my SQL and then another variable called command, which holds uh, my SQL, uh, which holds the SQL commands. So within our pattern here, which handles the click event pattern of this particular pattern. So we are going to write this particular piece of code. So just I'm copying and pasting this because I've tested it out. Just copy and paste. Uh, the only line that I want to explain for now, it is this particular line where we are making our connection. So you see here, <coughs> we create a new connection to our my SQL server. Then after making that, we open, um, we make it using a string and we supply the parameters which are going to be used to effect that particular connection. So the server, it is the local host, meaning this particular machine which I'm using. Alternatively, you can change that, the alternative to my local host, the IP address, it is to 127.0.0.1, then, uh, if you are on a network environment, feel free to change that to whatever IP address uh, you've been supplied with. Also, there are those of you who are working from uh, the, using the cloud-hosted uh, uh, versions, also change that to your respective IP addresses. Here, I'm giving the username, which I'm using for that particular database, uh, which is root. Then the password currently, because it is the local host, I don't have, uh, I don't have that particular password set. But if I wanted, I can set it. Then the database name, it is test. So that is the one I want to, I wanted to lay emphasis. Then in the try catch proc, here we are opening the connection to my SQL server. And one, if the connection it is successful, we are going to display the message that connection to my SQL test database was successful. After that has been uh, effected and executed successfully, we close our connection. Then if there is an error, it is caught in the try catch proc and we want to know what kind of error was uh, that. So we save our work. <clears throat> After you save uh, your work, the next thing you want to ensure, of course, I'm using ZAMP, uh, ensure that you, this MySQL a database server is running as you can see mine if you if you start it it is listening on port uh, 3306 so 3306 that is the port where it is uh, listening on for the various connections which are coming in so you go to my local host uh, this is the database i've been talking about and it has got one table called users so we can now head and compile our program and see whether we are able to connect to my sql database so once that is uh, done you can see that uh, our window has opened. Let's now click on this to test the connection. As you can see, a pop-up window comes uh, telling us that the connection to my SQL test database was successful. 
So to also see what kind of error message we get when we turn off the server, let me just fire up this control panel, then switch off the server and see what kind of message are we going to get. <coughs> so let me switch it off and let's try to test the connection and this time round you are we are told unable to connect to any of the specified sql hosts that is because the server is not up and running final test let's start the server and it has started reasoning so click on test and you can see we get the same message that it was a successful connection so thank you i want to uh, give my sincere thanks to om yellow for uh, uh, coming up with this particular question thank you so much and i feel i hope that you've learned and i've answered your question so as always don't forget to like and subscribe also share with your friends for them to continue learning hoping that in the next video tutorial i might show you how to save data to my sql database from visual basic uh, using the visual studio 2022 thanks for watching and don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends thanks